All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, last week, I went to Southern Alabama, visited some friends, and also checked out a local aquarium. And on the way back, I came through the Florida Panhandle, and I had the idea that I might be able to stop at one of the springs and be able to see some turtles, since with the cold fronts coming through, it's been really hard to see pretty much anything this time of year. And I got really lucky. Uh, on the way through the Panhandle, I stopped at a small spring I'd never been to before. I was super stoked. As soon as I walked over and looked into the water, there were dozens of musk turtles running across the bottom. What made this spot really unique is that these were the newly described intermediate musk turtles. So these are a turtle that was described, I believe, about two years ago. The thing with the springs is they stay constant all year long. So in the winter, they're at constant temperatures, so the turtles continue foraging and behaving naturally even through the winter. And with the crystal clear water, you can see them running across the bottom, uh, just being happy little musk turtles. About this place it is full of sternotherus intermediates the intermediate musk turtles and there's actually one right here over this wall so i'm going to show it to you guys One of the things that makes this spot so unique is that, whew, one of the things that makes this spot so unique is having that crystal clear spring water and it just flows through here. It's just crystal clear, crystal clear, crystal clear spring water flowing through here like a creek. So you can kind of just like see everything from a distance. It just makes it so much more fun. Right, so this is it. One of the goals for this trip was this guy, and this is the intermediate musk turtle. Here in the Florida Panhandle, these guys are actually super abundant and they live in all these little clear flowing streams. And if he looks familiar, that's because these guys are very similar in appearance to the striped neck musk turtle. You can see the spots form stripes right behind the eyes and a little bit like the loggerhead musk turtle. And for a long time, these guys were considered to be where the ranges meet between the loggerhead and the striped neck musk turtle. And then a lot of uh, genetic work and studying was done. They're actually found to be their own unique species. So that's really cool. Uh, new species are being found all the time. And with the work being done in genetics, um, really it seems like there's almost no limit to what's possible with, you know, not only turtle species, but species of all animals. But we're gonna let these guys go. Really stoked I got to see these today. Super, super big highlight for, uh, for this for this trip, so I'm gonna take this guy over these stairs. I'm gonna let him go. My phone ran out of room, so I'm doing it on the, the DSLR. All right, buddy. Off you go. Just got done shooting photos, so I have the flash on here, so it feels super awkward. Got one more. Gonna let this guy go as well. All right. There you go. All right, so I uh, got wet. My jeans are all wet. We're getting dried off and getting ready to get in the car and head back to Atlanta. But this is like kind of a last minute thing. I didn't think it was gonna work out and it did. Couldn't be more stoked, man. Intermediate Moss Turtle, super big find.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, um, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss videos like this when I upload these uh, field herping videos every Friday, care videos on Tuesday, and sometimes bonus videos on Sunday. Um, thank you for tuning in, and I'll check you guys next time. Take care. Peace.